What's up all you bikers out there? It's your buddy Tyler Tin Man Horn coming at you from the most beautiful dealership in the world, Black Gold Harley Davidson. Coming at you with my buddy Billy Davidson here, one of the greatest human beings you've ever met in your life. If you ain't meet him, you need to come by and meet him. He's always up here helping folks out. What we're here to do today, man, is come at you for the first time ever with Shop Talk with Tin Man. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's discussions about biker topics, biker news, things that's important to us as a community. Uh, please, please, after this is over, send me an email about topics you want to talk about, uh, things that are important to you, and if you want to come on the show, man, we'd love to have you out. It's going to be fun. That's Tyler at HDFDallas.com, probably changing to Black Gold Harley Davidson. But again, thank you all for tuning in today, and Billy D, thanks for coming out with me, man. Oh, my pleasure, Tyler. Awesome. I know you've been riding for a long time, man, so I kind of consider you an expert when it comes to it, right? Okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know, so when it comes to these biker topics, man, I, uh, these come from, you know, guys that I know, customers that I know, they're always bringing stuff up, you know, and today's topic, I wanted to come out swinging with cage driving citizens on the road. Right. Right? The people out there, man, you know, some guys are like, they're always gunning for me. Some guys like, I never have any problems at all, right, you know? Right. So, um, you know, first question coming out, do you carry any sort of cage citizen driver repellent, like, I don't know, Lysol for germs? Actually, Tyler, I do not. You do not? I do not carry anything. You know, the reason I asked that, Billy, is that guys, you know, they talk about the get back whips and, uh, you know, a buddy of mine told me he carries uh, ball bearings, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in his mm -hmm. pocket, you know, and these things, they, they had a, a big violent, you know, negative thing around them, which is why I assume you don't yeah. uh, carry, uh, take part in that at all. Yeah. So I was thinking the other day, maybe like I, I start carrying a flower. Okay. Yeah. Right, or like a little a little pink heart, right? So when someone kisses me off or comes over in my lane, I can kind of show them that, right? Give them some love, right? Instead of throwing a bunch of ball bearings at them, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I also hear, when you ride, do you have any sort of video cameras going on, something recording the front or yourself or? Uh, you know, I do not. You don't have any of those either? I do not. Again, same thing, I'm bringing yeah. that up, man, you know, because a lot of guys I talk to say, you know, it's helped them in insurance cases, yes, I can you see know, that. Uh, it's also giving them some cool video to share with their friends, mm -hmm. you know, with their rides and the scenery and stuff. I don't personally have one now, but, but after going on that long ride, I went with my brothers a couple weeks ago and seeing the video footage that they had, yeah. I think I'm going to start doing it. I think I'm going to mount a phone finally. I, I just hate the look of it. The bars are so beautiful, you know, I just think it takes away, but I think I'm going to start doing that, man. What about you? Uh, I think it's a good idea. I mean, especially, you know, all the stuff's going on, you know, yeah. I mean, I think it's a great idea. Especially here in Collin County, man. How long have you been out here? Oh, I've born here in 1954. So you, you've seen the traffic go from zero to 100. A lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's crazy. Absolutely. What do you think the most important things would be for a, a rider, maybe a new rider or any rider, to get noticed out on the road? Well, you know, for sure, loud pipes. Okay. I've heard that. Uh, loud pipes save uh, lives. I heard yes, that. Uh, the more lights, the better. Okay, day get lit night. up at night. Yes, oh, and, yes. and during the day. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I leave my headlights on. I leave my running lights on. Uh, yeah, so that's a couple of things. And the main thing is just drive defensively. Okay. I mean, you've got to watch every move everyone makes. Right. Especially nowadays with people on their phones and this oh, and that. And you know, yeah, you just got to ride, you know, ride really defensively. Mirror, mirror, blind yeah, spot, yeah, blind yeah, spot. Yeah, just check that mirror every, <laughs> every you know, few seconds, you know. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. I'm thinking about going with a ginormous air horn. They're pretty well, cost effective. They're not okay. super inexpensive. And uh, one of my brothers has one, and you could hear it a mile away, right? And I've seen people come over to his lane. Yes. He hits that. Whoa. Yes. You know, they, yes. they bolt right back yes. over and never even yes. saw him. So actually, I'm thinking about getting that. Actually, I have one on my bike. Oh, do you got an air horn? Really, I really. Have, have you had the chance oh, yeah. to, to, oh, yeah. to scoot somebody over? Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. it works yeah. good. Yeah. There you go, folks. Billy yeah. D endorsed yeah. air horn. Get yes. it on your bikes. Absolutely. Very important. Um, so, so in, in order to, do you think in that case, probably in order to warn someone in a cage that they're coming over on you, do you think the exhaust or a horn would work better? You know, like revving up your exhaust versus blasting that horn? I think the uh, horn is better. Yeah. You know, probably both wouldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> give, them, give them double whammy. Yes, you know? yes. But yeah, I think the horn myself. The horn's nice because, you know, you're not disengaging your clutch. You're still right. having full control, you right. know, while you're riding. Bap, bap, you know, easy to push that one button. And people are used to horns making, you know, hey, you're in my lane or hey, you know, whatever. You know, I think horn's better. And you touched on this a minute ago, the defensive versus offensive, right? We hear this a lot, right? People say, you know, you got to ride defensive or you got to yes. ride offensive. Right. You said you ride more defensively. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, I, always, I just look and watch, you know. I ride, I ride offense too, but, you know, I just look, hey, if I'm behind this corner, I see them starting to weave and wave. I say, hey, they're probably on the cell phone or they're doing something, you know, trying to find something in the floorboard, whatever. So I just watch them, you know, and then just kind of, okay, hey, I'm going to get on around them or, you know, try to get them away. I see a truck with a bunch of stuff in the back of his uh, a vehicle. 
I said, Ooh, what's going to fall off of there? Right. Lay back, all of a sudden I get a chance, you know, I'll just get on the front of them. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Uh, big trucks the same way. You're on the highway cruising all of a sudden, you know. Worst thing is uh, they blow a tire and this, the tire scraps hit you. Whew. Yeah. That'll, that'll take you out. Yeah, for sure. Big time. That, that'd be scary as hell seeing one of those things come at you. Ooh, yeah. I, I, I tell you, uh, uh, me and a couple of my brothers, I, I ask them the same question. I ride offensively. Okay. Right, that's how I feel, and the, the only reason I feel that way, different from what you're saying, is because I'm putting those guys in the rear view. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, um, uh, at, at that time, I think that if it's behind me, it ain't gonna mess with me. Right. right? Absolutely. Right. That is a little bit less looking in the mirrors, but the defensive route, you know, I understand if you're not, you know, going 90 miles right. an hour all the time. Right. Yes. I know you're not. Yes. Or you ride a real nice tri glide. Right. I'm sure you're not blasting 90 and 100 right. on that. No. Thing. You're more cruising. Not on that. Yes. So on that, you're just being aware of uh, all yes. the time. Absolutely. Very important. Very yes, important. Sir. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, Billy D. Uh, um, Last thing I'll leave you with, brother, and, and this is just something that, that me and my, my, uh, my brother's been talking about lately, splitting lanes. Okay. Uh, you know, it's legal in some states. It's not in others. You know, some guys think it's uh, um, uh, dangerous. You know, I've had people here pull their, pull their you know, doors oh, open yeah. in, the, in the middle of stop traffic. Right. Do you think that splitting lanes should be legal? Uh, no. No? No. Why is that? Well, because it is dangerous. I mean, first thing, you know, you go up there, all of a sudden you turn, then, you know, somebody's going to be on the cell phone, they're going to swerve hit you, or they might just want to be aggressive and say, hey, uh, what's this guy on the bike doing? Oh, he might swerve on purpose, just uh -huh. kind of scare you, but he accidentally might clip you. You know, or they sometimes, like I said, they might open the door. You know, I think, if, I think if it's it just was, more dangerous. If it was legal, then they couldn't do those things, right? Well, I think they're doing it right now because they're upset that I'm getting through traffic and they're right. stopped. Really, they're right. jealous of my beautiful motorcycle. Right. And they wish they could do it too, but because right. they can't, they're going to swerve out and try and stop me. Right. But if it was legal for me to do so, then they couldn't do that. Yeah, but, you know, if it is legal and you're still on the side of the road, I mean, what, what legal? The dangers are <laughs> the still danger. there, right? Yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather not be laying there hurting and bleeding, you know? I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> and say, hey, it's my legal right to do that, you know? <laughs> I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. So you heard it first, man, from Billy D. It's all about safety, <laughs> uh, you know, enjoying yourself. Uh, this, this man's got a ton of bikes in his garage, as I do. He's definitely an enthusiast. Uh, like I said, if you ain't met him before, come by and see him. Uh, and guys, uh, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Remember, man, life's a road. Go out there, man. People can ride it with you, but no one can ride it for you, man. Be safe. Have a good time. Keep the rubber down. America, baby. Woo! <laughs>